Welcome to SharePointHillbilly.com. I'm Mark Rackley, and I am your host on today's journey. Uh, this is my first video blog. I thought I'd try something new, and um, I'm going to be setting up kind of a quick and dirty email template in SharePoint. Um, I was just playing around with this. Uh, Lori Gowan thought it was kind of neat, so I thought maybe somebody else would think it was kind of neat. Maybe you'll get something out of it. Maybe you'll get more ideas. Maybe you can take it a step further and make it something really useful. So uh, let's get started. And uh, what you're looking at here is a really simple contact us page you might see on your website. Um, I, for the purposes of this demo, I'm keeping it super simple. All I'm going to track is the email address of the person and the message they want to leave. Okay. So this gets added to your list, and you can imagine this list is going to build and build and build. And let's say you have someone coming into your organization and their job is to look at these contact information and respond to them. So you want to set up a way for them to send them email easily. So uh, one quick and dirty thing we can do is crack open SharePoint Designer here and we can create a new workflow to allow them to send emails to people. So we'll do a file new workflow. We'll call this workflow send email. It is attached to the contact list. We want them to manually start it and we want to be able to allow the person to send a message to somebody. So let's create a field called message. It has multiple lines of text. We'll finish that. And we will set up one quick step to send the email. Send the email. You also get to see my horrible typing skills as well. So we want to do actions, send an email. We want to email this message. So click this little button here and we want to do a workflow lookup and we want to use the email address from the contact list. We want to give it some meaningful subject and we want to email the message from that initiation variable we created. So that is going to be workflow data message. Alright, pretty easy. That's all we're going to do. So let's finish that up, give it a second to publish, and it didn't take too long. So if we come back here and come back and want to work on this, this item from our contact form, we go to the workflows, and look, we have a workflow called send email. Now we can type in a message, thanks, you rock two, and start the workflow, and it'll fire our workflow, and it's going to send an email to that person. Um, you can see here it says it was completed. Now I don't have my email configured on here so you're going to have to take my word for it that it works, but it works. I, I tried it earlier. So that's pretty cool, right? Well, not something at all very interesting and you're going to get tired writing the same messages and typing them in over and over and over. So ideally you want a list of templates that you could send, choose to send to a user so you don't have to keep typing in the messages over and over. So to do that, let's create another list, and we'll call it Email Templates, like this one right here. And you can see all it is is a template name and the message that goes with the template. So what we want to do is we want to make our workflow use these templates to send the emails so we don't have to keep sending them over and over and over again. So what you do, you create this list, create your templates and your messages, and then we go back to our workflow in SharePoint Designer. So we want to expand our send email workflow that we created previously and open up the ASPX page for it. Here we see our message box where we typed in our email message before. And what we want to do is we want to get our list of templates on this page so that we can select a template and then whatever message corresponds to that template goes into the message box. Uh, that way we don't have to keep typing them over. We just select the template we want, make any changes we need, and we're good to go. So this, this turns out to be pretty easy. What we need to do is come up to our lists, find our email templates list. Let's drag and drop that right there. And here we see our list. Let's clean it up a bit. I don't need all of those fields, so let's go to Edit Columns and remove the modified columns. And we're left with just the name of the templates. So we have our name of the templates and we have our message box. Now we need to set up a web part connection between the two so they can talk. So let's right click on our message box, 
go to web part connections. We want to get parameters from a part on this page and that's going to be our email templates. We want to create a new parameter. We will call this parameter message and message will be equal to the email message from the email template list and check this little checkbox here and select template. This will make our selected template bold so we know which one we have selected and we're done with that. Now all we need to do is actually get that text into the message box and we do that by coming up to our code up here and setting the text for that message box equal to that parameter we just created which was the lowercase m message. So we do dollar for parameter, there's message, and let's make this message box a little bigger. That's kind of small. Just drag and drop it. Cooperate with me, please. There. And let's save it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now we come back to our page. And we decide we want to do a workflow to send an email. And we see here we have our list of templates. And when you select a template, the message for that template goes into the message box. So no more typing of message after message. Select the template. If you want to type in something else, you can. Click Start, and it will send the email to the person. And what's really great about this is if you want to add extra templates, you know, anybody can do it. All you have to do is come to your email templates list, create a new template, and when you save this, it will automatically appear the next time you run the workflow to send an email. And there you see new template, test message. See, so it's that easy. So uh, hopefully you learned something here. Um, uh, one important thing to note that if you ever go into SharePoint Designer and modify the workflow, you add more steps or something and save it, you're going to overwrite all your customizations here. So keep that in mind. Um, but other than that, the free, this is pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. Um, if you learned something great, if you didn't, maybe next time you will. And uh, thanks again for stopping by.